my name is Esther Anderson. I am Jamaican. I am a British Jamaican, they call me. I met Bob Marley in, in, in New York, actually. Maybe if I'd met him in Jamaica, I wouldn't have done anything for him. Oh, he's just another rude boy and leave. <laughs> but once I met him in America, I felt that like he was like one of my own in a place that he was kind of lost. You know, it's a huge city. So I ended up doing these pictures of him to help him with his career and to, to actually launch his career because he had put out an album for Ireland and nothing had happened. And I, when he came to America, he was trying to do some promotion in radio and stuff. So when he came back to Jamaica, I said, well, my partner, Chris Blackwell, say, why don't you invite him to come with us around the islands? Because we're going to, to Trinidad, to the carnival. And I started taking the pictures there. But when we come back to Hope Road, he disappeared. And I had to get Peter to go and get him. And when he came back, I talked to him. And we got out, went out to, where, to the seaside. So we started the session in Hope Road. So one of the pictures, him smoking and, and sitting under the mango tree and, and stuff like that, talking to other people and so It's all in Hope Road, which is now the Bob Marley Museum. But all the pictures that you all seem to like is him running on the beach. That was all work. We didn't go to the beach to go to the beach, if you know what I mean. It's to use the beach and the location and a man who I found very interesting because I wanted Bob to go that way. So really, really, these are the people that he was going to help, you know, because Bob was like a, a Kingstonian fella. You see him running in his, his shoes on, on the beach. <laughs> this is very strange. I like the one of him with his arms clasped like a Buddhist. It's a spiritual picture, I think, you know, and him wearing his covenant, as he calls it, on his head. And I liked it. I always tell him, carry your covenant with you, because he's the one that told me he called a covenant. But there's something in that picture that is like, to me, he's looking through me to the world. But I personally didn't know who he was when I met him. I think that because it's not the first time I'd photographed, I started photographing him in, in, around the islands, in Trinidad, in, in Haiti, and St. Martin, and uh, Tobago, and places like that. And so he was accustomed to me in the camera. and. He trusted me, you can see that. But, you know, I always feel within him, he's, he's very sweet with me and he's and, and he, he smiling. The stuff in Hope Road, the way he looks at me and the way he smiles at me, is that he's, he's very sweet anyway. Bob Marley to me was just a young you, you from Jamaica, was like, you know, one of my little brothers. And he, in a way, he bloody seduced me. I was comforting him because he had been forced to take an injection by the immigration to get into Trinidad. And he was so rebellious against it because, you know, he's a Rastafarian. The idea that let's just enter a country, you have to go rip up his skin with a piece of needle and God knows what. And he was pissed off. So I was just calming him down and telling him everything's going to be all right. He's not going to die from it and stuff. But he really thought they'd done something terrible to him. And, you know, he's very sweet. Bob is absolutely... Very sweet and adorable when he, I knew him. And you see the way he looks at me and stuff, right? And then he starts saying, why don't we just make a film right here in the yard? And so then what, what would you want it to be about? Well, he says, let's, um, well, it would be about a man and woman, a group of people, man and woman, running, run around the house and keep running until the last one drop. And that person, <laughs> the one, one last one is left. And then the film ends. <laughs>